Hey guys, Josh at Band Tech, and I've got the Idea 7 Plus. It's an Android tablet that you can find over on Amazon.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description. This is a very budget-friendly tablet, so it's going to be very inexpensive to get. So there's multiple reasons why you might want to get this kind of tablet versus one of the more expensive ones. We'll get into those reasons just a little bit later. I just kind of want to do a first impressions unboxing type video and kind of give you an idea of what to expect. I catch myself with so many unintentional puns, it's ridiculous. Anyways, so let's go ahead and take a look around the packaging and kind of let you see what it comes with and what it looks like. You got a nice little preview of the device here. You got your branding, of course. On the side, you just got some design. On the back, you got some specs that you might be interested in. It comes with Android 4.4, and you can load some APKs onto it as well. USB compatible, that's always good. You got one gig of RAM, basically, and you got eight gigs of main memory, but you can expand it to 32, so that's actually a pretty good, decent size expansion for such a cheap tablet. You got voice assistant and also some voice controls that you can use. On this side, it kind of gives you a list of some of the other specs that you might be interested in, like it's got 7-inch IPS, 1024 by 600 display, some of the voice controls that we just mentioned, and of course, Android 4.4. Let's go ahead and get this on opened up. All right, so we're greeted with the tablet at first, and we're just gonna put this off to the side to see what else comes in the box. So we got some of our paperwork, instructions, user guide. If you're not familiar with tablets or like devices like this, I definitely suggest looking through this kind of stuff. It's actually kind of important. It tells you what it's all about and how to operate some of it. So if you're new to the tablet world, this is something that you might wanna look into actually reading. Looks like we got our USB cable here. Yep, and it looks like it's actually a pretty good length, so that's always good. I like longer USB cables. Oh, what's this? Looks like we got an OTG cable. That's pretty cool. If you're not familiar with an OTG cable, basically what it does, it helps you communicate between devices. So let's say you have another tablet or smartphone. You can actually connect the two together. Basically, you plug this end into the tablet, and then you get a USB cable like the one it comes with, and then plug it in right here. And that makes it an OTG cable to where it can communicate between devices. So it's pretty cool that they did this. And it's probably because they advertise that you can load APKs. And that might be a way that you can get it loaded up on there. And of course, you got your power grip. And the power grip is actually going to put out 5 volts to 2 amps. So that's not too bad. Pretty good little power brick here. And that is going to do it as far as the packaging goes. All right, so here's the device itself. We'll leave this on for just a second. And just to kind of give you an idea of what this looks like before we take off all the film. So we got a serial number, we got speakers, we got a camera, power controls. This is going to be your SD card slot. And on the front here, it kind of gives you some preliminary instructions before you get going. One, you want to remove this film once you get going. You want to charge this up for 10 hours before the first time use. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to turn it on like I'm not supposed to according to the instructions. You just have to forgive me about it. To power on, you press the power button and the screen will turn on. It tells you how to work the lock screen and also how to just basically use the tablet. This is what I want to get into that this is definitely going to be made for the person that's just getting into the tablet scene that needs something that's easy to use or perhaps a child. You don't want to go out and get an expensive $500 plus or even a $300 tablet and take the chances of it getting messed up. This is only about $55 on Amazon, so it's expendable in a sense, but we're gonna see what the quality is like and see if it's worth putting your money down onto it. So let's go ahead and take this off. I know some people just love that part when you take that first <laughs> like film off or whatever for some reason. My first initial, I guess, reaction or critique is that it's got a gloss back, so it's gonna attract fingerprints. But you can get a case or a skin for it and you should be able to get by without that being too much of a problem if it bothers you. So let's go ahead and power this on. Just hold down the power button. All right, so it comes on sideways. And you can check out all their stuff over their website. It's IDEAUSA.US. All right, first boot animation. Let's see. See how long it takes. You know, sometimes the first boot takes a while because it's the first boot. It's kind of got to get broken in. And that wasn't too bad. All right, so this is what you call the lock screen if you're not familiar with it. You can kind of slide it around and you just kind of slide it over to get it unlocked so you can get to the rest of the device. 
So let's just take a little tour around the physical parts of this before we get into the software. So here is the SD card slot, then you got your USB connection, headphone jack, and your power button. You got your camera here resting on the side. Then you have a reset button here, so if it locks up or you got any kind of issues, you can just reset it that way. You got your speaker on the back. Let's see where our volume controls are at, if there are any. All right, so it doesn't seem like there's any kind of volume controls or buttons. So what you're gonna have to do is a little trick that you can do is hold down the screen here. Whoop, can't do that either. <laughs> so what you're gonna have to do is basically you can go into your settings, go to your sound, and you can do touch sounds. I'm actually gonna turn that off because I don't really like that. Go to our volumes and then you can turn everything down this way. All right, so what I'm gonna do for the rest of this video is just kind of give you the settings menu and just kind of let you see what it looks like, what kind of options there are and whatnot. So I'm actually gonna turn on my Wi-Fi, see how the Wi-Fi works and if it picks up any decent amount of kind of Wi-Fi signal. All right, so it actually picks up the Wi-Fi pretty good. I'm happy about that. You got your Bluetooth here, data usage and more. So basically, if you're familiar with the settings of Android, you're gonna be rather familiar with this, but just in case you're not, these are your options, you got your sound, display you can show different kind of stuff have you know brightness wallpaper you can set it to go to sleep at certain times you got hdmi connection screenshot settings here's your storage and it'll show you how much you got for your internal and external your app manager you downloaded on the sd card running and all we got location settings security language and input backup and reset you can add your accounts such as uh, Google and your emails and so forth. Once you load some more apps on there, like maybe Facebook and Twitter, you'll be able to add it through there as well. Got our date, time, accessibility, printing, developer options is already turned on, so that's pretty cool to me. And we got our about tablet. So again, this is running Android 4.4.4. .4. So that's what you're gonna expect with the settings menu. And you can download different launchers and all kinds of apps like that. That might make this a better experience for you. It just kind of depends on your preferences and whatnot. But I just kind of want to do an unboxing of first impressions video. My first impressions of this is that I'm actually really excited about this. I'll be able to give you a full opinion in just about a week or so. Once I get some more experience with this, kind of tell you how it performs, if I have any kind of issues or whatnot. My first impressions is that I'm pretty, I guess, impressed for just being $55 that you can get over on Amazon. That's just pretty cool to me. I'm I love gadgets. I love technology. So it's just fun getting anything. Like, I'm happy with this. I'm actually going to see about rooting this and getting some custom ROMs going, see what I can do as far as modifications go. Just have some fun with this thing. It's just awesome that I can actually even just have it to mess around with. So I'm looking forward to just playing around and see what I can do with it. Not to mention, I have some books that I am about to start reading. And this is actually the one of the really good sizes for reading books or tablets. It's not too small, not too big. Another good reason to get something like this. So anyways, I'll give you some more details about that kind of stuff later down the road when I give you my full review about this. Thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate it. If you found that this video is helpful to you, share it with your friends and family. I'm sure that there's somebody else that would benefit from watching this video. Until then, give me that thumbs up and I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.